Hi dear students, so I hope all of you are doing well. So in this topic, I'm going to guide you on quadratic function, still chapter 2, form 4. And this time we're going to analyze the shape and position of a graph. What happens when value of A changes, what happens when value of B changes, and value of C. So usually when we have equation AX squared plus BX plus C, we have to draw graphs. So the, the shape of graphs or the position of the graph can change according to the value okay so we're going to analyze here okay so first we know that if it's a positive graph okay when your a is greater than one your graph will be okay like this all right so let's say a is equals so it will, it will be a positive graph right now let's say this is a equals to one now what happens if suddenly your a becomes greater than one so what how do you think the shape of the graph will change or the position of the graph will change now when value of a changes okay what you need to know is the graph shape changes okay how it changes is when a is greater than one meaning let's say here's two or three or four the shape becomes smaller okay so this is if a is greater than one now what happens if a is between zero and one so that means maybe 0 0.5 0 0.8 so what happens is your graph shape becomes like this so as you can see the difference here all you need to know is if it's because the value of a is becoming bigger okay your graph is becoming more smaller the shape all right now the same applies for let's say a okay is less than one okay now this is the graph so of course automatically your graph will be a sad face okay so let's say a is equals to negative one is like this okay what do you think happens when your graph okay a let's say a is greater than one meaning that greater than negative one so automatically your graph will become smaller so the shape of your graph will become like that and then let's say if your graph uh, sorry when the value of a is between okay so let's say zero a and in between here so what happens to the graph? The graph, graph shape becomes bigger. So this is if the value of A changes. So analysis for A is done. Next, let's look for when the value of B changes. Okay. Value of B. When value of B change. Okay, first we draw the positive graph. Okay, this is x, this is y. Okay, so let's say b equals to 0 is here. Okay, this is b equals to 0. Now, what happens when b is greater than 0? Okay, actually the shape doesn't change or the position uh, actually the shape and the y intercept doesn't change but the vertex all right will change so your b graph the graph will becomes like this so this is b greater than zero now so of course i think you can already uh, predict what will happen when the b value is less than zero so it will be this side okay so this will be b less than zero hope you can see the difference because this is blue color Okay, this is black. So this is B less than zero. And this will be B greater than zero. So the as you can see, the vertex changes. Okay. Now, of course, the same applies for the set graph. Okay, not the set graph. Uh, when your A value is less, is about negative. So of course, your graph will be set uh, shape, right? So if let's say B is equals to zero is here. Okay, what happens when b is greater than 0? So, when b is greater than 0, the graph will be this side, right? b greater than 0. 
and if it's less than zero it will go to the other word so the vertex will change for the graph of b so as you can see here for a the shape changes okay it becomes expanding or it's not expanding it becomes smaller when the b value b changes like the entire vertex of the graph change okay now the third one when the value of c changes okay the value of c changes okay the shape will not change okay but this time the position of the graph will change so let's look at the happy graph first okay so let's say here we have x okay this is y so we have here c equals to 0 okay we have c equals to 0 now what happens when c is greater than 0 the graph, that means C is actually the y-intercept, right? Okay, when it's y-intercept greater than 0, that means it cannot be below here. Automatically, it goes up here. So, this is C greater than 0. What happens when C less than 0? So, since C is the y-intercept, definitely it needs to be at a negative uh, intercept. So, this is C less than 0. Okay, now for the set one, set graph similar as well this is x this is y so when we analyze okay let's say c is equal to zero so it's over here right c is equals to zero so i think you can already predict what happens when c is greater than zero definitely it needs to be up okay c greater than means this is the y intercept it has to pass through here now what happens when uh, c is less than zero it has to pass through the negative c is less than zero okay so these are the three uh, analysis that you need to know and in fact if you understand you don't even have to memorize what happens when a changes when b changes and c changes all right so i hope you guys like this video share this with a friend who you think might benefit and i'll see you in my next video